Hello, my name is Peter Molang, and I'm an application engineer with Go Engineer. Today, I'm really excited to share a build that I've been working on recently. It is a fully 3D printed drone. So before we get started here, don't forget to like and subscribe and enjoy the video. Here you can see a rendering of the drone. It's about 12 inches in both the X and Y direction and about four inches tall. So we're gonna load this up in GrabCAD and start a print. With the drone loaded into GrabCAD, we're gonna separate the bodies from the assembly. Once we've done this, we're gonna orient the part. We're gonna select the face and then we're gonna hit bottom. And then after we've done this, we're gonna hit arrange. We're gonna move the purging tower into the corner the drone next to it, and then the lid. Once we've arranged all this, we're gonna now slice it. With the slicing complete, we'll now have an estimate of how long the print will take. It'll take about a day long. It's about 25 cubic inches, and that sounds about right. We're now gonna have a look at the slice preview. As we scan through the layers, we can see that nothing sticks out and everything looks good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and start this print up. And now we've hit print and it's gonna send it over to the printer and then we're gonna start it there. Before we can start a print, we're gonna to have to load a tray into the printer. So we're gonna grab one, we'll place it, and then we're gonna press it down and then lift the lever to secure it. Then we're gonna close the door and go ahead and start the print. Now that we started this print, I hope you enjoy this time lapse that I made. With the print complete, it's time to remove it from the printer. To do this, we're going to start with opening up the door, and then we're going to press down the lever and lift the platter out. Everything looks great on the print, so we're going to take this over to the table and take everything off the plate. To remove the prints, we're going to start with bending the build plate and then peeling this print from it. We're going to do this for both the prints, and then once we've done this, we're gonna take it over to the ultrasonic bath and dissolve off the support material. Removing the support material is a very easy process. We're gonna place the prints in the ultrasonic bath. Then we're gonna place the grating on top. Once we've done this, we're gonna close the lid and then we're gonna go ahead and start the ultrasonic. This should take about an hour and then we'll come back. After waiting an hour, it's time to remove the print. We're gonna remove the grating, and then we're gonna grab the print, and we're gonna shake it off. Once we grab both prints, we're gonna go start assembling. To start assembling, we're gonna grab our main body, the lid, the electronics, the antenna, and the recording camera, as well as assembling hardware, and tools. To start, we're gonna screw down the flight stack. After we've done this, we're gonna screw the motors on. What we wanna do here is we wanna make sure that the wires feed inwards. Now that we're finished with that, we're gonna put the lid on. So we're gonna feed the wires and the camera in and we're gonna screw it down. We're now gonna tighten down the FPV camera. And then we're gonna to go to the back and we're gonna put the antenna on. Then we put in the run cam camera and we're gonna zip tie down the wires and we're gonna start flying. Here you can see a simple picture and I hope you enjoy the flying footage.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in making this yourself, I'll be posting the STL model in the description below. I'll also be posting links to the items that I bought so you can follow along my build. If you have any comments, feel free to leave that in the comments section below, and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!